Hey, welcome to Fitz on Flicks. I am Fitz. This is my friend Murph. Goniak. Right. Hey, listen, this week we saw a movie called Milk, starring the great Sean Penn and directed by Gus Van Zant. Murph, what is this movie about? This and did you like it? Oh, okay, I will answer the second question. Second. Good call. Uh, Harvey Milk is a man played by Sean Penn in this movie. Uh, he, he lives in New York. And his 40th birthday rolls around, and he meets uh, James Franco's character, Scott. And uh, they ha immediately hit it off, sexually and emotionally. Mm. Because they're both homosexuals, in case you could, didn't pick up on that. And uh, Harvey's lived 40 years, and he hasn't really accomplished anything in his life. So they decide they're gonna, they need a change. They fly to San Francisco and uh, start a new life in uh, the Castro area, which is a predominantly gay... Uh, district in which uh, they open up a camera shop, become part of the uh, the culture right away, and after uh, many years of persecution and police beatings and arrestings and all that, uh, Harvey decides that we gotta get a gay man politician in office so that maybe we can change some things, shake things up, and um, get some gay rights for for them because it's not cool. It's basically what um, and he. It's all about him rising to the occasion and rising to the top and running for elections and yes, winning and, and what overcoming happens? the odds. Overcoming the odds. That's exactly what this movie is about. And um, Murph, I mean, did you like this movie? I, I love this movie. This movie is fantastic. I, I, I thought so too. And I mean, I guess you have to start right at the top when you uh, talk about this movie. Um, Sean Penn. Sean Penn, Penny, and Harvey Milk. I, I don't know. I, I don't think there's anything this guy can't do on camera or any part he can't play. Um, movie after movie, this guy does. He continues. He continues to. Uh, it shouldn't even be a surprise anymore when he mm -hmm. puts out this great performance. This guy, he's going to get nominated for an Academy Award for this. Uh, put your money on it. Hopefully, I think he'll probably win. He's unreal in this movie. Um, the whole supporting cast, everybody in this movie yeah. is unreal. Um, you know, James Franco, you got Emile Hirsch. James wonderful. Brolin's son, Josh. Ja James Brolin's son, Barbara Streisand's stepson, uh, Josh Brolin, who is on one hell of a role in the last year and a half. From No Country to Old Men to yeah. W and now this. Yeah. Um, this movie is, seriously, I think this is an important movie. Now, what did you think about uh, Josh Brolin's character, Dan White? Dan White. Uh, Dan White. Josh Brolin plays Dan White. Dan White, who eventually goes on to kill Harvey Milk. That's not giving anything away. That's You find that out right in the first two minutes of the movie, and anyone that knows this story knows that's what happens. The movie did an amazing job in this regard, they don't, a lot of movies I think would have made Dan White, a lot of directors, film writers, whatnot, would have made the character Dan White uh, a jerk, 100% mm -hmm. a monster from the start of the movie, and he's just evil for no other reason than to be evil, and this movie didn't do that, this made Dan White out to be uh, a normal guy, a flawed guy, kind of mm -hmm. a sad guy, a guy who... Uh, just he's not finding any success, and he's she's trying to raise a family, but he keeps getting you know he keeps running to these roadblocks, and Sean Penn's kind of there at a lot of them, and he he keeps feeling he's feeling beaten down by Sean Penn. I mean, at first they're almost friends, and then things happen. You gotta see the movie, but they don't make him out to be a monster, and that's a that's a choice that I think well, I wasn't expecting when I saw the mm -hmm. movie, and I thought was you know really a good choice. It, it, it was it was unreal. Um, take, taking nothing away from how evil what he does at the end, making him into more of a character is something interesting. Absolutely. Um, also, I mean, what else? What, I mean, tell me more about this movie. What do you think? It's. Uh, I I really liked how you know he Harvey is just one man, and by his you know perseverance and just wanting to get things done and and help out his community, it grew into this giant you know nationwide you know revolution almost. It did. And I mean, to this day, what he did, things are still felt this day. I mean, things that happened 30 years ago. You know, nowadays, uh, a big thing, I guess, in the gay community right now is like, say, marriage rights, okay? Can they get married? Can they not get married? And that's one of the big, that's one of the big, um, you know, things being voted on and debated right now mm -hmm. in, in the country. Well, you know, 30 years ago, the big thing for gays were, you know, Geez, can they get fired just for being gay? Can they get arrested for no reason just for being gay? A lot has happened in that 30 years, and Harvey Milk is probably one of the biggest reasons because of a guy like Harvey Milk. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a great story. This is a movie I think a lot of people should see. They should learn about this guy. Um, I really, I, I went into this movie thinking it was going to be good. I'd heard good things about mm -hmm. it. 
it surpassed everything I had hoped it was going to be. I really thought this movie was great. It showed Harvey Milk. They, they showed his flaws as well. That was a great thing about this movie, too. It almost made it more awesome and genuine and exciting to see when he succeeds because they're not making him out to be a perfect guy, a guy who has all the right answers, a guy who's going to do everything correctly. No, he makes mistakes along the way, too. Mm -hmm. He has some ideas that are just terrible ideas, and he does some things that just don't work out, and that makes it even more real and more mm -hmm. awesome when things do work out. I'm saying, see this movie... I mean, honestly, I don't care who, whoever you are, I think you will enjoy this movie no matter what your feelings are and this or that. This is a movie to see. These are performances you want to see. One of the best movies of the year. Murph, anything else? Yes, if you have feelings, go see this movie. If you have feelings, see this movie. Um, if you don't have feelings, get some, then go see this movie. Bring a cop with you. Show them show what it's like. Bring a cop with you, show them what it's like. Sea Milk, um, it's you know it's not playing everywhere. It's not at all the showcases and AMC's and everything. It might be in some of the small theaters. You might have to go out and actually find it. Well worth it. Go out and find it, Murph. Anything else? No. Yes. Go see it. All right. It's been a pleasure. It's, it's been fun. I've enjoyed it, Thank and you. Um, oh, you are more than welcome. We will uh, check us out on Fits on Flicks. We are on the World Wide Web, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye bye.